In this video, let us uh, solve problems based on mean continuous frequency distribution. Uh, till the previous videos, we were uh, solving problems based on mean of group data. So here we will solve mean, uh, solve problems based on mean of continuous frequency distribution. So this is the continuous frequency distribution type, you know, it's like 0 to 10, 10 to 20, 20 to 30 and so on. Uh, nothing really changes as far as this continuous frequency distribution is concerned. We are going to solve this problem by, you know, you can solve it anyhow you want. We are going to solve it by step deviation in this video. So the only difference is that we are going to convert this into a single thing. You know, we have to find the mid values of this and that will become the X. Now this is already F, no doubt, but this is not X yet. So let's see how do we do that X. And then once there, it's the same steps. So now the first column interval and the second column has mid values so these mid values of the class intervals becomes xi okay this is an important thing and then otherwise it's all the same frequency which is fi and then you've got di equals xi uh, minus the assume thing okay let's assume the mean so the assumed mean here is uh, 25, right? Because right, right in the middle. So it's xi minus 25. And then we also have to assume h. So we've got ui equal to di by h. It is all going to be the multiples of 10. So let's take h as 10. So this is going to be h. So yeah, ui is going to be di by h. And then the final thing is fi ui. Starts off with 0 to 10. 10 to 20, 20 to 30, and 30 to 40, 40 to 50. And then the mid values are going to be 5, 15. Uh, mid values is how? 10 plus 0 divided by 2. It's 5. The middle value of 10 and 20 is uh, 15. The middle value of 10 and 20 and 30 is 25. The middle value of 30 and 40 is 35. The middle value of 40 and 50 is 45. So that's how you find the mid values. And then you've got the frequency. The frequency is given here, which is 7, 10, 15, 8, 10. And then you've got the deviation. The deviation is xi minus 25. So 5 minus 25 gives you minus 20. And then see, this is why. So the di is all going to be in you know 20 10 and 10 20 that's why i took h is 10 so that so this will be minus 10 this will be 0 this will be 10 and this will be 20 and then we've got ui equals di by h so di by h is going to be minus 20 by 10 so it's going to be minus 2 minus 1 0 1 and 2 so fi ui is going to be minus 14 10 times minus 1 is minus 10 15 times 0 is 0 8 times 1 is 8 and 10 times 2 is 20. So that's all. The only difference in the continuous frequency distribution is uh, the class interval have to be converted to mid values, which are the xi. Now we need the sum of the frequency, you know, that's the capital N. Uh, so that is 50. And then we need summation of fi ui, which is equal to 4 exactly. So the formula is not very different from the previous thing. That is the step deviation. So we have here mean that is x bar equals a plus h times 1 by n into summation of fi ui so here is a is 25 plus h is 10 times 1 by 50 and then times 4 10 goes 5 times in 50 and then you've got 25 plus 4 by 5 which is 25 plus 0.8 so we've got 25.8 so that is the mean the mean is 25.8 the mean of the continuous frequency distribution given here is exactly 25.8 i repeat the only difference between this frequency distribution the continuous frequency distribution and the group data is that you need to just change the class intervals you know convert them to mid values as well so that's this video that's this problem so I'll see you in the forthcoming videos uh, with problems and concepts based on mode. You know, we've got mean, median and mode. So, you know, mean, mode and median, whatever that is. So we will do the mode next and then median or median or mode or whatever.